Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be testing the demo of Tainted Grail, the fall of Avalon on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X CD processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. The game was released a couple of weeks ago. On Steam store it's priced at around 45 US dollars. The developers have employed regional pricing for the game in India. It's selling for around Rs. 1800. Good price for the game. It's an open world action adventure game that takes place on the island of Avalon approximately 600 years after King Arthur's reign and subsequent fall. Now the land is afflicted by a plague known as the Red Death and the Weirdness, a chaotic primordial force that alters reality and the beings within it. The main quest involves collecting the remaining pieces of Arthur's soul to aid his resurrection. The game can be played in either first person or third person mode. Currently, the game only supports TLSS subscaler, an older version of it. It does not support any frame generation technique. I'll be showing you how to enable FSR frame generation using OptiScaler mod. We'll also manually update TLSS subscaler to the latest version that is 310.2.1 activator transformer model. In order to enable FSR frame generation without any graphical artifacts in this game, you need to use a special build of OptiScaler that fixes Unity and OptiFG artifacts. Can be downloaded from OptiScaler's GitHub. This is the post and this is the build that I'm talking about. I'll give the direct download link for it in the description of the video. Google Drive link. Download the latest version of TLSS Subscaler DLL from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Just click on any of these servers, download will start. In order to activate the transformer model of TLSS for Upscaler, we need to set the model PC to K. I'll be verifying these details using TLSS debug overlay. In order to activate this overlay, I'll be executing this registry code provided by Emos. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with. Click on notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Click on save. Close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay if you want to disable it. Just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll just revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Save, close, select the file, right click, open. Click on yes. Ok, that's it. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod, open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Open the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Paste the mod files here. And just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txti.dll. Hit enter. Open optiscaler.inr file. From here, just set tx12 upscaler to dlss. Set FG type to OptiFG as we will be using OptiScaler frame generation. Click on file, click on save, close. This is the version of DLSS subscaler the game is shipped with. 3.1.11, I'll manually update it to the latest version. Copy this DLL file, nvngx underscore DLSS. Open the games install directory. Replace the older version of TLSS subscaler with the latest version. Highlight the file to check the version. Yeah, it's the latest one. Now this game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 APIs. In order to get OptiScaler FSR frame generation working, you need to run the game in DirectX 12 mode. I'll show you how to do this. Just need to add a launch argument to the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text I'll provide in the description dash force dash d3 d12. Now it's not mandatory to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling for using OptiScale FSR frame generation, but if you have an RTX GPU, highly recommend it to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings. From here, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports variable refresh rate, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable ultra low latency mode and vSync from NVIDIA control panel. This game does not support NVIDIA reflex. 
Enabling these settings will cap the FPS at a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. My display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so the FPS will get capped at 225. On a display with 144Hz refresh rate, FPS should get capped at 138. Click on Manage 3D settings, click on Program settings. From this drop down bar, select the game Tainted Grill. Scroll down until you find Low Latency Mode setting, there it is. Just set it to Ultra. Scroll down to then Enable Vsync from here. Apply the settings. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display here and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Just make sure no third party overlay like RTSS or uh, Afterburner is running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler hotfix won't work properly. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Launch the game. We are in. I have disabled autosave from the game settings. It's up to you. Display settings. Full screen mode borderless. Full HD resolution. No FPS cap applied. Vsync off. Motion blur disabled. Video settings. I'm using the high preset. Dynamic resolution. Just set it to DLSS. I have set the resolution scale to 75%, close to 720p resolution. Most of the settings are set to high. Chromatic aberration disable. That's it. I'll just disable the HUD to show you the DLSS debug overlay. This is my character. I'll just equip a club. Collected many weapons. Playing the game in first person mode. Yeah, just check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is K. Version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution 1344 by 756 pixels. Upscale to full HD resolution. DLSS auto exposure setting is off. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around objects in the environment. I'll enable it via OptiScaler mod. Just open the mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. DLSS upscaler is selected from this drop down bar. Source API TLSS. Here you can see the API version DirectX 12. Very important. Game should not be running in DirectX 11 mode. Otherwise, OptiScale FSR frame generation settings won't show up. Check this setting under init flag section auto exposure. Yeah, DLSS auto exposure setting got enabled. I'll just play the game without frame generation first. Click on save INI. Our settings will get saved even after restarting the game. The mod settings. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Take out this priest, whoever this guy is. Dodging their attacks. Don't want to fight against multiple NPCs at once. Image quality is looking very clean. Not observing any artifacts. One guy is down. Block the attacks. Need to be careful. This guy should be going down soon. There you go. Cleared the area. I'll just enable the game's HUD again. Show HUD on. I'll also enable OptiScale FSR frame generation now. Check the setting FG active. Check the setting FG HUD fix and set the limit value to 1. Do not enable FG extended setting. Check the setting FG allow async. Now this is very important. You need to enable this setting FG flip Unity. This game uses Unity engine. Enabling this setting will fix the graphical artifacts. Just show you the debug view. Check this setting, FG debug view. Resume the game. Your yeah, displays are working properly for all of the images. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the TLSS debug overlay. Games interface won't flicker after enabling OptiScale FSR frame generation. After verifying DLSS upscaler's details, just disable DLSS debug overlay via the registry file. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Reactive mask image is not flipped, all thanks to this build of OptiScaler. Just disable the debug view, save INI, play the game. Text is not flickering. Your FPS increased to around 150, game is running very smoothly. Just collect this mushroom. Consume it. Restores our health. Open inventory. 
select the mushroom press the X key now I'll be fighting against three NPCs at once check out the performance 142 150 FPS my bad should have dodged the attack but I'm in a hurry don't want them to gang up on me there's another guy I'll just switch to the third person mode. There you go. Combat felt much better in the first person mode. I'm not landing my dodge timing properly in third person mode. Now I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. We'll test the game in one more area. Select the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Right click open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close run this registry file ok that's it I'll be fighting against the giant sentinel here we'll be using an ability granted to me by king arthur activate the ability by pressing the middle mouse button slow down time and just swing my club wildly doing a lot of damage half of the hp is already gone wild swing which is low on HP it missed its attack leave the place using this portal we need to escape from this island big open area here FPS is close to 160 game is running very smoothly switch to the first person mode better visibility here no artifacts have produced around our equipped weapon that's good to see so mod works very nicely in this game highly recommend it from my side that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day